Hello, everyone. Welcome to painting this uh, little.、Um, the name of this、uh, little bunny is called American Fuzzy Loop. Um, lob, American Fuzzy Lob. I think Lob.、Uh, my daughter just、uh, told me because I practiced this yesterday, and so today she called me and she gave me the name because、um, her husband was doing a computer science project. <laughs> They actually use this rabbit. It's name,、uh, uh, name, and anyway, so I know that, and I thought I would just tell you guys. Now,、um, all the color used.、Um, Are very colorful because I am just dying to have spring. There is nothing really out there right now. Not the tulips. The tulips are coming out, but they haven't bloomed. And so,、uh, such a cold and wet、uh, winter, right? And we are actually worry about flooding in our areas. And so, I、uh, go a little bit、uh, wild on my flower because I just want a lot of flower around this、um, little bunny to just bring out the color. And so, and I also、um, so all the color will be mentioned in、uh, my blog post.、Um, but of course, while I was painting it,、uh, I also mentioned it, and I really just、uh, use these two brush, my flow brush, and the number two, and maybe oh yes, I use this very very fine detail to do the、um, at the stem of the flower because I I always need stems when there's flower. I can't just leave them floating, right? And so.、Um, And also, what I added is I I promised you when I was doing the dots of the flower coat that I will、uh, when it's dry I will use、uh, some acrylic to just suggestion of the whisk whiskers and and I did that so I finished and I added this bloom this bloom here、um, and so I also further go in and just kind of suggestion of the paw over here I thought that might be needed maybe I had added some shadow and、um, so. Pretty much,、um, I show you how to do this one. Oh, actually, I show you how to do this one too. And so,、um, a very uh, uh, a loose painting on the on the background flower, but just to add a lot of uh, happiness uh, to the bunny. And、um, I am、uh, very looking forward to seeing them in the springtime. We actually can see them sometime.、Uh, some of our neighbor let go of their rabbits and. And sometimes they just escape or whatever. We'll see them around, and I absolutely just love、um, rabbits. And actually, this、um, the reason for this painting is because I、uh, promised my I have a three year old granddaughter and a newborn that's、uh, three months old, and the three year old really like bunnies. And so,、um, and it's her birthday coming up, so I have designed this, and、uh, it's going to be fun. And、uh, the looseness of the body, which I I, I actually go through and suggest. To you, why the reason for doing that, and、uh, I'm very happy with how this turned out, and I really think that you can do it, and you will have fun. And、um, uh, just take your time,、uh, take your space, and、uh, I mean your own speed. And、uh, you know, like I always say, I my my constraint to me being a little bit faster is the gigabyte, right? And but so it's real time, and、uh, you guys can pause and、uh, make sure you, if you can. Enlarge it or、uh, um, turn it to the brightest of color, and、uh, I really invite you to do this with me because it is very fun, very fun, and you can give it to a grandchild or, uh, you know, uh, just uh, you know. I don't know how many of you actually like bunnies,、um, but that's one of the thing that I like very much, and so I will sign this painting and.、Uh, And、um, and also of course as usual this、um, drawing will be available、um, and I will actually draw some of the flower shape for you guys too in case you wanted it and、um, you know and all these are actually flower but I just drop in the color just for suggestion and to bring out the the springness of this painting、um, anyway okay four minutes I should stop talking and、uh, allow us to get started with the fun okay. And、uh, please subscribe to me. And if you want to leave me a message, I absolutely love it. I love hearing from you guys. And、uh, if you so like it, if you don't, you know that's fine too. And、uh, I'm very grateful for all of you and your support. And、uh, have fun, okay? And ask me questions if you need any,、uh, you know, answer. <laughs> okay, love you. Thank okay, you. let's get started.、Um, we're going to do、uh, our little American fussy lob. American fuzzy lob, how what a fun kind 
of um and so uh so randomly we can start anywhere okay and but then i and i will walk you through the not walk you through i will mention the color use okay so now i'm uh, using this uh, my flow brush okay make sure that it's not too soggy wet and uh mixing the lamp black together with the with um beautiful uh, pink gray okay and so well let's start on this side of the ear okay so the ear seems to be an easy place to start okay you lay down the color and uh, lay down the color and then we slowly um, you know uh, bring it out to the you know uh, now I'm cleaning the brush and so no more pigment and I'll pull this color out, soften the soften the edges and pull the color out. Um, now, uh, so in this painting, we have to bear in mind because both pinks gray and the, and the lamp black color are very um, sedimentary. Okay, uh, I don't know if you can see that it is, um, they, they really like to settle on the page very, very fast. And so um, if you are uh, need to keep an eye on it and make sure that you um, do it in a good speed after you put on I put uh, I pick up some a little bit more pigment okay and uh, because um, if you uh, like leave it so I left that for a little while right and see if I can soften it it's not like really that crucial over here but you can see that that line is um, you know you can see that that line is not not wanting to budge and I'm happy I'll just let it go Okay, let's do this little ear over here first also. Okay, same thing because we're we're now with the pink gray and the lamb black. And if you even want, you can even like put a little dab of um, uh, burnt umber on it, but it's not necessary because, you know, with the lamb black and the pink gray color, it just turned the ear into some somewhat of a grayish black. And I think that's uh, sufficient, okay? Okay, and then uh, the same thing at this point, I'm going to clean the brush, okay, and pull the color out, okay? Why is that that I'm doing that? Because I imagine that the sun is coming down this way, okay? And so it will get some sun, and so this will uh, enhance the form, okay? The form of the the form of the ear, so it's not like really just this uh, odd shape here. It actually has some, you know, thickness to it. And what the, I just did is I, I just went and dipped in some more pink gray, you know, because I like to push my luck and uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, see if um, I can actually put a little more color in here before it goes dry. But I pushed my luck so far and now I think I push it enough and then I will come back. I'll come back and deal with it, okay? Now, uh, I'm going to change to this brush, the number two Jackson, you know, brush. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go into the lamp black and maybe a little touch of uh, burnt umber, okay? A little touch of burnt umber. I dip in the burnt umber pile and then go to the lamp's black and then I'm going to do the eye. Now, you can see that my eye already has... Um, like I always do with birds and animals, I like to make sure that the eye doesn't move, right? The lines here. And so what I did is I uh, I uh, use um, this micron and draw out. And so the, when micron dry, then it's it. That's it. You know, it won't move. Uh, it's permanent and waterproof. Now I clean the brush. Okay, so no more pigment. And I pull this, pull this um, color out from down here and soften that area okay now there's already two highlight right there and so that area need to be a little bit darker especially you know what animal they do have a lid right and so I'm going to you know give it a little bit more dimension and um, and also uh, darken this area right here a little bit okay and um, I'm going to now uh, go over the same brush, this little uh, number two, okay, and go into the brain spray and uh, give some dimension. Uh, what, what I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit of this paint spray around the eye, okay. So what it does is it, you know, pushes the socket of the eye back into the socket, and so it it uh, it appear like this. Um, you know, it's, the eye is not really just flat on the face, okay? And uh, a little bit over here also, you know, just put some pigment there and then clean the brush and, 
you know, pull the pigment out and soften it, okay? Soften the line. And a little bit over here, just ever so little, okay? And then uh, I'm going to put a little lamp's black and just, while this is still a little bit wet, just put it, put it here and there. Okay, and the eye will look like it sink into the socket a little bit. Now we're going on to uh, the cute nose. And um, so it's the same mixture, but of this, um, that's what I'm going to use. And uh, maybe a little bit more paint spray than the black. Okay, at least that's the soft, at uh, the first layer anyway. Okay, so I'm going to do this area, uh, have a soft layer of gray. Um, but I'm going to do it like section at a time because, um, and we can do the whole layer, okay, because uh, why do we do that? Because of the same property that I just said, um, the pink gray and the lamp black together make it so sedimentary and I'll uh, have to work fast. So that the edges will be soft, right? So I'm doing this in stages, meaning that I don't do the whole thing, the whole um, snout area um, all at once, okay? So to give myself, also this is a very small soft brush. Now I can like show you if I use a harder brush, you can actually soften the line a little bit more. But just don't push our luck, we will try to go in and uh, do it a stage at a time, okay? And while this is still wet, we can do the second, um, not the second, the, the rest of the snout area too, okay? And not have to worry about that too much, leaving this area right here a little bit white, okay? You can see that there's a harsh line right there, right? And so I quickly clean the brush. And so what I'm doing is, this is just the, you know, the first layer um, of the color of the snout. We're gonna come in and we're gonna come in and uh, do a little bit more, okay? Uh, after the first layer is uh, a little bit drier. Okay, so don't need, really need to like worry too much if you think, wow, the color uh, really look ugly right now. And because watercolor a lot of times has to go through, especially when you do it in layer, they had to go, you can even pull the color down here because we're gonna do something to separate it, okay? So not really have to worry, okay? And then we are gonna go from this area right here all the way down, okay? All the way down here, all the way down here, and then meet the snout area. So that's what I'm working at, at right now, okay? So I go over here and uh, I might come in, uh, no, uh, not that I might, I will come in over here and uh, in the second layer just further, um, uh, further do something over here to accentuate the, the darkness, right? And the shadow area over there. So, yeah, um, I better finish my thought. Um, we uh, When we do um, watercolor, especially when you do the layering method, you know, now I'm pushing my luck, right? I'm trying to drop some more intense color while this is still wet. You can do that. You don't have to do that. I just uh, like to push my luck and do that and then clean brush again, okay? Clean the brush from your water and then just try to, um, you know, move the pigment where I wanted it. Okay, here and there. Okay, just kind of push it around, okay? You can know, you know that I'm doing light touch. Now, we always have line. We always wanted to, you know, it's very natural for us to want the paint in the line, okay? So I'm pushing it down here so that you know that if you go out of this area, just as long as you can still see your pencil mark, do not be afraid, okay? Just let it because we're gonna we're gonna use this color down here still. Not uh, something that we need to worry about, okay? I'm just uh, come over here. It kind of bugs me a little that there's a little line there, but eh, not really that important. Okay, now um, I can see that in my practice I have a, a little bit of color um, right around here, so I'm gonna add that. You know, every time. Um, I uh, paint or preparing a painting to paint, I always do practice, you know, because when you do things on YouTube, um, I don't really have a lot of leeway to make mistake, right? And I say, oh, start over again. So by the time I get here, then I, it looks like things are going smoothly, but you know, you guys know that I, uh, I'm not that, you know, 
uh, perfect in my painting, I also need to practice. And so if you go at it, you know, I'm uh, further darkening the eye area, which I do that. I like to pick on things, you know. And uh, if you guys um, felt like, oh, I am, you know, making a big mess because this is my first time trying, I totally understand, okay? Now we're going to let this part go into a drying stage, okay? And so while there is drying, <sighs> let me see where should we go let's go over to let's go over to this area okay um uh i don't want to go into the body so much but this is not dry well how about if we darken that area okay and uh i'm thinking if we should go into the body so quickly but we can of course we can and so I'm going in with the same mixture, the paint spray plus um, plus the lamp black, okay? And you can see that right now, the pigment over here is very, very dense. Or very, very intense, okay? And using the small brush, right? And so what I'm doing is I am actually accentuate this shadow area and make the form of this make more uh, three-dimensional instead of a flat, a flat ear over here, okay? And clean brush, I'm softening this uh, shadowy area as it come out, you know, because this uh, bunny, the bunny head is uh, catching a shadow on this area. And so that's what I'm doing. Okay. Now this, uh, um, you know, I always said, we well, we need to eh, just let it dry a little bit more. We always need to, um, okay, I'm going uh, back to my flow brush and let's do the body over here a little bit. Okay. We'll do that in stages too. Okay. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a uh, uh, um, uh, yellow ochre, okay? Um, yellow ochre had black in it, so it's not like so bright because you don't want to put a really bright yellow on this little bunny, but um, you can see how little I do, right? And uh, while I'm doing it, uh, you know, have this like, it's a very, very gentle. Maybe I'll put a little bit more color so that you can see, okay? But we want this a uh, very, very soft and not bright, okay? And so I come in here and I keep diluting. You can see, right? I'm just uh, wipe, wipe, not wiping, uh, brushing it out, okay? And all the while, make sure we have a very, very uh, soft line over here and leave some white area over there. And I was, um, we will use the background when we're at the last stage and to bring out the form of the bunny, okay? So don't worry. At this, at this point, um, what I'm saying is what I'm putting here the yellow ochre does not go all the way to the line. I'm softening the line right there and leaving a little bit of white, okay? Okay, and then we'll keep pulling down here now. Um, and at times I wanted to, now I have some burn umber on my brush, I just went and pick it up, okay? And I'll drop it in there. Why is that? Because um, uh, the bunny really is not a yellow bunny, okay? It's uh, kind of like a soft brown, so I, you know, when I am, um, uh, trying to design the color, I decided yellow ochre for plus burnt umber will do it very nice justice, okay? Um, now, so we're going down here now because we're at the body part, right? And so underneath underneath the the uh, big fat cheek, just like my granddaughter, uh, we're going to put some, uh, the same color, but a little more intense so that we can, the same color of pink gray plus lamb black. Okay, I'm going to also dip in a little bit of burnt umber, okay? So that maybe a little bit of brown will show up, okay? So I come over here using my drawing. And then that's how I separate the the little uh, fat bunny cheek from the uh, from the body, okay? Now, uh, when we, uh, with watercolor, now that you are, this is the really the area of focus, okay? So we're going to not have a lot of detail and everything is going to be soft for the body okay so i just went in and used some uh clean my brush okay and then i'm softening this area really really trying to soften it now um and then i'll keep going okay i'm using uh, some of the so you can see that if you may uh how how good the youtube's uh you know is showing this um i am you know, dropping between cleaning the brush and uh, dropping this uh, mixture of brownish, uh, brownish grayish, and uh, kind of blackish color, okay, for the body. And look, you can see that just like, um, you know, if I were to try to get you to remember, I did this um, uh, really cute owl, if I may say so, 
a while back, and uh, and uh, you know the color can come all the way over here, okay? And don't worry about it. Okay, ever, uh, ever so lightly, leave a little bit of light over here. Light meaning the paper, the white. Now, because the reason why I'm doing this so soft and gentle over here, because um, we don't need a lot of detail. Actually, uh, for some reason, with the with uh, you know painting the animal, it actually is quite nice to just have that as the focal point and more of the detail with watercolor. And uh, so what uh, we're gonna do is we're not going to go in and do uh, every single uh, fur. Yeah, <laughs> bunny is called fur, right? We won't, we will not do that, okay? Now go in paint gray with a little bit of black, okay? Because paint gray is like a very, very blue, okay? And uh, you know, uh, but if your bunny turn out to be kind of bluish gray, that will be pretty too. But that's why I put in a little bit of black. Okay, so you follow the line of the fur that I will draw, and this drawing will be on um, my blog, Sunset Peony, and this blog post. Okay, just like usual, I will have that ready for you guys. Okay, so you can see, right? I'm softly just uh, dropping color. It's almost like doing a background. Okay, softly just putting. Uh, the color bringing the color in here and there okay and going down to the body okay and um, pretty much I will not uh, change this very much meaning that I will not probably come in second layer maybe I will do it you know with adding some shadow but I will not uh, like make it uh, detail uh, the owl will turn out uh, very well too you know last time if I don't know if you remember um, we did the body kind of, you know, using the same style, you know, just a very gentle dropping color here and there. Okay, so, you know, uh, you can even, you know, you can even call it blotchy. Okay, now it go all the way to the, uh, to the legs too. So we just keep going. Okay, uh, more gray plus a little bit brown and that color will turn it more black than gray. And, and so, um, a diluted amount of black will be a true gray without blue, um, without blue and not too much brown either, okay? I do that a lot uh, with animals because I just uh, think that it make them look very, very nice, okay? So I, we just keep pulling, okay? Now we're, we're going uh, down towards the bottom and there will be flowers around here, okay? That's our composition. And so we will uh, make sure that this part is not too... This part can be dark, but over here, we just trying to keep it as light as possible. If that makes sense, and I wanted to put a little bit more of the yellow over here to the yellow ochre to brighten that. And we can also pull it all the way over here too, you know, so the rabbit is not so dark, right? We actually have rabbits as pets when we were young, and they're re not not really mine because um, my father liked to spoil my uh, my little sister. I only have one sister, and so they um, when we live in Oregon, so we come over from Hong Kong and we moved to Oregon and opened a Chinese restaurant, right? And so when my father was over there, he he um, he get to know what's available uh, from America, and he liked to go to you know. Um, the thing that, you know, in Hong Kong, Hong Kong is a big city, right, where we come from. And so we don't get to, um, while I'm telling you the story, I'm doing the same thing, okay, randomly just dropping those color so that you don't know. Say, Kathy, you're telling me story, but, you know, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm using the same color, gray plus black and sometimes plus some brown. Just pull it into the whole bunny, okay, the whole bunny area. <laughs> That's his other foot, okay, other back hind foot. And then uh, I'm going to just uh, be a little bit more gentle over here because I haven't really decided at this point, point where I put the flower. Okay, those kind of thing I do that spontaneously. And you see what I mean uh, in a minute. And so I'm going to reserve some so that this area is not too dark. Okay, and so that I can have some flower over there. But then I will come and, you know, add the value and make sure that the dark part is dark. So I'm very, very happy with this, okay? I'm going to do a little bit of uh, fur definition over here in a minute and uh, you will see, okay? So what I mean is, trust me, 
<laughs> you know, just uh, dropping color here and there, okay? So that make the, you know, make the whole body kind of soft, okay? Soft and not very, um, and that's uh, very nice to do that. Okay, now we're back to the, back to the little face, okay? And do a little bit more detail, okay? And so we can use, let's just use this number two, okay? To add detail over this area. Oh, no, let's do the nose, the fluffy nose part first, okay? And uh, pink gray plus a little bit black, okay? Quite intense pigment, okay? And uh, if it is not intense enough, you can always add some more, okay? So uh, do not worry about, um, you know, how much, uh, you know, pigment you put in here um, because we after we put that line that you just see we will um, come and soften that okay but not uh, soften it so that it's so soft that you can see we still need this line okay but not uh, a very harsh line okay because it's the bunny nose right there okay the covering part of the bunny nose um, the reason why I, I, I unceasingly, you know, really like to do animal and birds because I think they're fun and also it's very, very uh, good because you get to this point to help us with our skill, okay? Now I'm using, uh, you know, the black and brown mixed uh, and uh, do this bottom of this uh, fluffy nose, okay? Then um, this is the part, part where we uh, need to be careful, okay? And so being an artist, we need to practice that and uh, you know, with flowers, you know, you can be a little bit, um, you know, not, uh, you know, a little bit sloppy, I guess, if that might be the word to use. But with animal, you can, because I think I have explained that uh, a little bit before. Because when you, um, when you're a little bit um, uh, too sloppy, then, you know, it is, uh, we're, we're reducing a bigger animal into a smaller size, right? And so our accuracy of following our line is very, very important. Because if you don't, then you suddenly you see that if you move the snow, the, the, the snout just a little bit, the this fluffy nose part over here, then you will see that you have um, uh, uh, perspective wise, it just kind of looks strange to you. Okay, black and gray. Okay, black and that pink gray. We're back to that and do this little triangle area. Cute. Okay, and the line, okay, remember the line, this one go this way and come down a little bit. I'll make sure that when I draw the, give you the drawing uh, that is correct and when you are copying it, then I will exhort you to um, be very, very careful about uh, not uh, making an adjustment or, uh, or not thinking about it too much, okay, because then it will um, distort the whole thing. And we don't want to do that. And uh, doing animals help us as an artist to make sure that we don't, um, you know, uh, make that kind of mistake. Okay. And if you really don't want the shape to move, you know what you can do? You can also use um, this micron and uh, put it, you know, just put the line there. Then you will not be able to make a mistake while you are thinking. But then you are not filming, so you do not uh, <laughs> have to go through uh you know what i do right right now right i'm i'm just being very very careful and you say you see that i'm very very happy with the detailed definition of over here okay it makes me happy now you can see that this area is a little bit light okay so what we're gonna do is i'm going to um i i'm gonna show you with uh, some pencil mark you know if i wasn't and then i'm going to just like put a circle area around here okay and what this does is just to remind me I'm going to go uh, on the other side of that line. Now you can do that and then this uh, snout area will further be more enhanced, okay, by the color that I'm going to put in, which is just some pink gray with just a tad of black, okay? And so what I'm going to do, you, if you that seems a little bit confusing, is I'm going to just do um, a little line of pigment Okay, and follow this line of the little mouth, okay? And come down here, okay? See, see when we're doing, um, when we're doing, uh, uh, when we're doing animal, how um, the, we can practice a little bit more precision, okay? 
that's what I was trying to say. It's a little more precision. And so when we do a shadow around here, this area suddenly become uh, lighter, right? You can see that there's a little bit of highlight right there. And so the bunny cheek is beginning to show. Now, while that is still a little bit wet, I'm going to put in a little bit more shadow, meaning I put in a little bit more of that paint gray color. Okay to further enhance that a little bit, okay? And I'm happy right now, okay? And soften the line because the bunny is soft. It's actually quite soft, okay? Um, and what am I, what do I do? Okay, down over here, I don't need a lot. And now I'm going to do the shadowy part over here, okay? The same, a little bit of that pink gray plus black, okay? And then I'm going to use, uh, start from this area. So as you're following me, you see that, okay? So what am I doing? I'm doing shadow. I'm doing the shadow and put a little bit of shadowy area over here. Okay. And the line of the shadow does not have to be strict, okay? Like uh, it can be curly, curvy, because the face of the, the rabbit that we're doing of the bunny that we're doing are not, uh, they have bumps and fur and the fur, you know, depend on how this little bunny slept on it last night. The fur does not, uh, it's not uh, a round thing, okay? So if you have bumps and uh, ridges and things like that, that is very, very fine that you can do that, okay? And then I'm going to further put a little bit of pink gray darker right down underneath this you know cheek that's like my granddaughter and uh, so she's quite fat nowadays you know she really is and she is sleeping very, very well through the night and her cheek is very big i thought that after she starts sleeping through the night she will lose weight but she did not i guess she made it up in the daytime uh, food i mean just just uh, breast milk and because my daughter is uh, breastfeeding okay now so what does this shadow bring what this shadow does right here is it bring out the whiteness of here now i'm not going to leave this all white okay you see that in a minute now uh over here i need some shadow and i need to go um down here to come all the way down here okay and i'm gonna do that right now uh we can do the same paint spray okay and then uh just do a little bit of shadow over here now what you see that I'm just putting on the pigment that really um, and when I clean the brush I'm going here and I will direct the pigment okay to where uh, I want the shadow to be okay so the shadow keep coming down all the way down here okay you can just let it come all the way down keep coming okay so there's a little bit of shadow and I'll define the shadow a little bit better by putting Okay, but let, leave a little bit of a spot right there. That would be very, very cute. You see that she's coming to life. And her face and her form are just uh, defining. Okay, very, very cute. If I may say so. Okay, now and I'm going to come down here and uh, put a little bit more uh, of a shadow around this area. Okay, just to further enhance it shadow I mean the same color gray and black mix and uh, and so I was um, just uh, telling you um, uh, when we were in Oregon that's the first settle we settle first in that area right when we first come to America and my father get used to and he find the auction and in Oregon there was a lot of animals and so both my father and well I do too but I was working so hard in the restaurant that I don't really have time to look at how pretty it just uh, make the head pop okay and this area shadow and we don't need to do a lot need to do some but not a lot okay a little bit more around here the shadow okay and then we can pull the color out so my father will take my sister and uh, you know, I, I don't know, um, and I'm going to put a shadow of the ear over here, okay, with just the paint gray. Okay, just ever suggesting there's a shadow because the ear does cast a shadow, right? Onto the, onto the body of the, of the, of our little cute bunny over here, okay? So I'm gonna just uh, do that. 
And so make sure that that is just kind of, you know, consistent with reality. Okay. Now I I can see that that is a, a little much, right? And um, not that it's a mistake. I because I know that I'm gonna pull the color up, pull the shadow color out. Okay. And so just um, know that this is the shadow. Okay. The shadow color of the and I'm going to even soften the color of the edge of the shadow. Okay, I don't like it too harsh. Now, what we're gonna do is put a little bit of a, a, a darker area like this so that the ear is, um, you know, it show a little bit of the thickness of the ear, okay? Same, same mix of color, okay? I'm gonna come down here. And then I'm going to do a little bit of the thickness so that you can see that, oh, the ear is actually a little bit thick it's not a flat object okay and then soften soften clean brush soften the soften the ear part okay so that's a you can see that there's a suggestion of the thickness right away okay of the ear okay I'm very very happy and uh, so this uh, this ear we don't need to show the thickness Okay, so we get that side done. Okay, are you? Uh, I hope you're happy. But just uh, follow along, okay? And uh, right now, I'm going to uh, do the the other color of the of the bunny head. And what we're gonna use is the yellow ochre plus a little bit of burnt umber. Okay, but we put the yellow ochre down first. Okay, you see that how soft that is, and it go all the way over here. It can be over there too, because this is the sunshine area. Okay. And I hope that that is um, kind of true to the uh, to the actual characteristic of this American fussy fussy flop. And I'm sure some of you have American fussy flop as your pet. And so you can uh, say hi to me and put a comment and see if you like it. And then after a strict way while the water is still I'm going still kind of wet here. I'm gonna go in and get some of the burn umber okay i'm just dot dot it here and there and then i come in with a clean brush and soften it and so my uh, my father took my sister and they go auction for bunny one bunny anyway so we had a bunny while we were in the in the chinese restaurant and uh, that was fun you know and my sister is you know but she has doggy too and my father really spoiled her and she had all kinds of uh, doggy and fun bunny and whatever she had but she does share with me and I like to hold the bunny and the bunny was uh, a good bunny but bunny you know is very hard because they are they're not like a kitty actually the cat that we have in the restaurant she doesn't like us holding her she will just try to well because I wouldn't call her a feral cat but she was an outside cat and she had outside cat um, my dad got that not by um, okay so that's it you know I'm mixing the little yellow ochre with the and there's a blotch over there right and I really like that it just ended up over there and uh, you know sometimes you just have happy mistake right and a little bit you know ever so slightly of the brown over there now remember when you guys are painting along with me um, you need to uh, Turn up the brightness, okay? As bright as you wanted it. Okay, there's a, a separation of the level uh, of the fur. And so I'm going in with the pink gray. And then I'm going to come in and just ever so slightly suggest that there's a separation of the fur, okay? Over here. Okay, so you can see that, right? And then I'm going to come and soften it. So it's so soft, right? You can see that it's so soft, but you can tell that there is a little bit of a difference. Maybe I can use a little drop more of the paint spray. Now, because that area is uh, wet, right? I just barely put the paint on there. And uh, when you come in, you can just drop the color, drop it in there. Drop in there and that will show that there's a separation of the fur color. Okay, isn't that fun? Okay, I'm going to, I want to do, do some separation over here too. And what I'm going to do is use a brown and the, now my, my paintbrush is kind of saturated with water. So I need to dry it well. And then I'm going to use some, um, use some separation right here. Okay. Just 
just to show that the the fur you know there's layer of fur okay that's the best way to describe it there are layer of furs okay and I'm gonna just uh, soften that a little bit I want it to go a little faster because I want it to um, leave some time for uh, uh, to do the background because the you know since it's uh, springy and I guess um, that so do you see that there's a little separation there you know of the fur right just a suggestion a suggestion right there okay now there's a uh, this this part right here we need to uh, darken that quite a bit uh, and because that's uh, that's uh, this part right here uh, when we darken it, it let you see that the body of the of the rabbit right you can see the body of rabbit, the separation of the fur and where the legs come out. And so I need to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, heavy handed on the pigment, I guess, you know, so that you can see, right? Because there's uh, this little two four leg right there. And then this this the behind leg, you know, in this position. So I wanted to use the shadow to bring that out, if that makes sense. And you can see that, right? Um, but not like not so harsh the line. I still wanted the line to be a little bit soft Okay, softer so my father and my sister will go to auction and they you know We can't we run a restaurant. We really can't have a lot of <laughs> animal But those two really love to you know get their animal and so um, They would they would go and they would you know bit you know it you know my father really had a lot of fun for some reason the American uh, farm animal auction is a, it's a very very fun time for him and I'm happy for, for them you know that they can find something fun but I don't usually get to go because I have to stay in the restaurant okay I'm dropping a little bit of gray in there okay now uh, over here uh, there should be a little area right here also and uh, I'm gonna put some shadow over there too okay and so um, they will come home and if uh, if my father can have his way, he will he would have a farm. I know, you know, with all of my heart, you know that uh, he would uh, really love to have a farm because that's just the way he is. Okay, and then there's some fur coming down, you know, covering some of the fall lake. Uh, but uh, since we had a restaurant, we couldn't do that. You know, he also like, you know, um, I like chicken myself. Okay, I'm just trying to soften, you know, the space so the line, you know, the shadow are not so harsh. I also like to, you know, for me, if I can have some chicken, I can't have chicken. My husband um, had decided with me that um, it will be hard and we won't be able to go um, like to Yellowstone and some stuff at the summer as much, you know, but like you, you guys know that we used to have a duck, right? And it, uh, and uh, when we put the duck away, uh, put down, bring him to the pond down at the, the university, I had a really, really hard time separating. I guess it traumatized my husband. <laughs> and he, uh, he doesn't want me to have to go through that anymore but you can see the separation right off the legs and it's doing a very good job right here okay and so I need to do some over here too let's see 18 minutes after that okay um, so let's uh, have the body part you know separate from the you know because this this breed of uh, this breed of um, rabbit really have long furry uh, fur and hair and so it's kind of fun because that give you the chance to use the use uh, the nature of the bunny to help you with your painting right and meaning that you can just say oh here comes the fur and then here's the leg the foot area okay and so I'm reserving some white over there in case I need to in case I need to um, put some flower, okay? Because I really, really want to do the flower. And so uh, I'm going to just put a little bit of, uh, not even shadow, but blotches here and there, okay? To show that 
to suggest that the the bunny has fur, but we're not going to make it so that it is this as so um, you know painting the little single fur. Okay, I know that in other kind of media maybe they do that, but not in watercolor because this is really fun, right? Uh, look at it, you know, the bunny is really fun, and maybe I will drop a little bit of brown over here. Okay, and and when I do the brown, I'm going to mix in with some yellow ochre. A little bit more yellow ochre, okay, okay, okay. It's just suggestion that there are furs around, but not uh, so much of painting the fur, so that you have to, you know, because I think this is prettier like that. Okay, drop some while it's still. Uh, wow, this is very, very wet. If you can't see it, but I can. <laughs> and so, I am when uh, watercolor paper get really, really wet with stuff, I usually just leave them alone. Leave them alone until uh, they dry out a little bit first. Okay? And so that's all the almost all the detail. And then I wanted to do a little bit of fun over here, which is I'm going to use some paint spray and dot it on her cheek, or his cheek. Okay, so that is suggestion of the hole where the hair come out, okay, the hair follicle, right? But then I don't want it to be like a sharp dot, okay? So I come over here and then after the pigment with a clean brush and I just soften it. Soften it, see? It's right there. You can see it, but you know, it's ever so soft, okay? And then at the very uh, end, if I remember, if you don't remember, if I don't remember, I need to use um, some white, okay? I will just uh, tell you what I'm going to do. I use some white acrylic when it's all the way dry and just put some of the whisker, okay, coming out and some coming out over there, okay, it's just so that you know. I probably won't be able to show you because I need this to be very, very dry because before I put in the acrylic. Okay, now, so I'm actually quite ha happy. I might come in and intensify that, this, but uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting on the background. Now the first one I wanted to do is let's do the um, let's do the the flower let's put a flower of um, uh, but uh, it's going to be so uh, soft of a flower okay just just okay. I was just saying that we need to do the flower before we do that that's one thing that I really wanted to do is um, since um, like my green mix okay my really pretty green mix okay I'm gonna go in and use some perlene green. Uh, mix with a little bit of indigo what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually uh, do this very important part before I forgot and get myself um, and that is to use the background to bring out the form of the to bring out the form the line if you may say so of the so this is a background okay so you see that I put in some pigment and now I'm trying to pull it out now what that does is it will you know, you can see the line of the uh, of the body of the rabbit now, right? Okay, and it doesn't really matter if it come in a little bit, okay? And this will, you know, this is what we do. We use the shadow of the background to, you know, so that we can have the the bunny be lighter over here, right? And then if you say, hey, I want it a, a little bit more, then I will just kind of, now while it's wet, I drop in some perlene green. To let it, you know, uh, so that it's not you're not outlining it, and I can even like kind of, you know, just uh, suggest some uh, leaf and vegetation in the back, you know, for fun. Okay, but you know, you it's so slight that you can hardly see it. Okay, and you see that this will work after we put in a little bit more background. But I just do not want to forget to do it or ran out of time and don't do it. And so now I'm going to use some of the perlene green and mix with the sap green and uh, do this, okay? I randomly, I randomly go around the rabbit to make uh, to uh, make him stand out. You can see, right? The line of the body, okay? It's beginning to show. Okay, now this is quite wet over here because I'm pulling the color out. And so while I'm doing that, uh, we will, I will drop in some indigo maybe, you know, just, you know, just some colors to suggest the background. 
okay so you can be as free as you want you can uh you know do whatever you want right here to suggest you can suggest a branch you can suggest a, a, a weed you know a steak <laughs> whatever you want it to okay but and and also while you're doing that you can actually bring in some of the green to the head okay that doesn't matter because you're trying to match the not match to mingle the 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 background with the with the rabbit okay you know so it's just playing a trick on the eye you know that you know the background and the rabbit is like kind of mixed but now you can see the form a lot better right a lot better of the rabbit oh it's so fun when you when you start doing this kind of thing okay a little bit more pigment over here okay and then but you need to you know make sure that the line that you um the that i gave you of the drawing that you hold the integrity of that line and don't deviate um, from it very much okay and so this is really fun right so right now you can see the rabbit is already you know forming forming very very well and i wanted to you know make sure i, I tell myself to remember to show you that before okay and so if you say ah you know kathy maybe over here you know you need a little bit of a line there you can you see that okay and this uh, these are very uh fun uh artists use you know use using the background okay so now you can see the head of the rabbit okay now so while uh, after we do that so i'm going to okay do the background a little bit you know um so i'm going to do a a, a little bit of a daisy okay so i draw i draw this while i am I'm painting, but um, I can actually, uh, uh, I mean, during the painting process, but I will make sure that I have these flowers and you can decide for yourself if you want to use it, okay? So I'm going in with a cadmium yellow light, okay? And do the middle part of the daisy, okay? And then I go in with the, let's just do the burnt umber, okay? Drop a little bit of burnt umber under the base, okay? I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, and I'm going to do another flower over here. Okay, so I want a green flower. Now, the, since um, this is the background flower, we're not going to be too uptight about it, okay? So I'll show you what, what I mean. Do you guys go to auctions? Have you ever been to auctions? Okay, the middle. Now, the middle part, I'm going to use uh, perline green probably more perlene green and a little bit of sap okay for this flower over here okay perlene green and sap green you know that's just out of my green mix i have my green mix right here next to me okay just um you know such so loosely okay uh put that in and then i'm going to drop in a little bit of the cadmium yellow light okay so that's the middle of the flower and I need to let that dry, okay? And while these two flowers are drying, I'll come over here and do a pretty pink flower. I'm going to use, uh, right here is my um, magenta. Magenta and a very, very loose flower right here, okay? That you can, you know, just try to have uh, some kind of a shape of a flower. And I'll do some line drawing here for you, okay? If you feel like that. You know, so you can tell that there's a flower, at least I hope. And now I'm going to put some cadmium yellow me medium. And so the flower is not just pink, okay? And then I'm going to also put some magenta. No, um, not magenta. Uh, uh, violet. Violet is a little bit deeper than magenta, okay? And just kind of drop it in. Okay. And so that is one of our flower. And then I... I actually am very brave. I'll come in and soften the edges. Soften the edges and so it's not so mechanically oval, okay? Just soften the edges and let the color kind of blend out, okay? And then I'm going to do uh, a, a flower bud over here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I will draw it and then uh, you can see that, you know, but this will be in the drawing that I'm going to give you so you don't have to draw it. But if you want to have fun like me and draw as you go, then you can do that, okay? You can just draw all kinds of flowers and use the magenta. I know that I need a little bit more 
you know, the the reason why this painting I'm so willing because uh, you know I'm dying to have spring around here, and so I'm very very willing to um to uh you know when it's a little bit drier. No, nope, no, nope, we can drop a little bit right here down at the base, okay? And then we'll we if we have time, and I remember we'll drop some more color on here, okay? Now. Daisy is uh, yellow medium, and the middle part is yellow, right? And then uh, the and then the the petals are white, and so I'm doing a green mixture right here, okay? And then I'm painting a, around the white petal, okay? And I'm doing this very very loosely and quick, okay? And then I pull the color out right away, okay? So they're not like so uh, rigid and liney. Okay, and just have it even mix into the that little hind foot of the of the rabbit. Yeah, do you guys like to go to auction? You know, have you ever been to one of those farm auction where they sell animals? My husband's um, family up in you know my husband does, doesn't do that, but his family, his sister's family, the sister that just passed. Okay, isn't that cool? Now the Daisy is appearing right in front of your eye. Okay, and. Uh, they actually like to get pigs, and I think that's really fun for the children. You know, they 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 had to take care of the pigs and they raise them and they either um, use them for meat or they um, sell them at auction again. So they, what I mean is, they get the piglet, and then they, you know, the children through the year, through the that year, they will um, go in and. And uh, okay, now I want some magen, uh, no, uh, quinacridone violet. Okay. Because this is a quinacridone violet kind of plant. Okay. So I use the pigment, and now I'm coming in with a clean brush, and just pull the color out from the middle. Okay, ever so fast. <laughs> well, fastest because I wanted to um, make sure that I'm done. You know, within the time frame that I, I needed to adhere to myself, okay. And uh, also part of it is, uh, you know, because the ba is the background. We don't want to fuss, be too fussy about the plan, okay, about the flowers even, okay. And so you see that I pull the color out, so it's like a green plant, a green middle with uh, some kind of purple petal, okay. And then. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and start doing some leaves. Uh, if I may call them leaves, but they are leaves, but they're going to be very, very, um, very, very uh, loose. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some leaf. Uh, you know, so uh, we did the horseshoe uh, in the last painting. Okay, before this one that I publish, and uh, uh, there's a lot of practice on doing leaves. And if you are not comfortable with doing leaves, then I I, I really encourage you to, um, you know, practice on that one. Now I you know that you know since it's the background, I'm not going to let it look like leaves. Now if you want it to, you can, but I'm going to come in here and really soften it so that there's suggestion of the of the leaf form. But really, I am going to just uh, make sure that it just blend into the into the background very very much, okay? And then I'm going to come over here and use my green color, and I'm dropping it. You know, while I'm dropping it, you know what that does is it, it actually suggests that there's more leaves here and there, okay? So very very loose watercolor, very very loose. Okay, the same thing for the one that's above it. That uh, this one. Okay, just do the same thing. Okay, very very loosely. Have suggestion of the petal, the leaf that's supporting the flower. And then I am not content and come over here and pull the pull the color out. Okay, so that they are not so detailed. Okay, we don't want details at the background. And. Uh, and I, Kathy, you, my friend, yours truly, and um, actually, <laughs> do not uh, like to have uh, very very detailed, okay? And so, 
and I'm just gonna let that go but you can see that there is leaf over there right there are leaves over there and so that's what I'm going to do as for that I am going to um, also come over here and add some leaves okay in the same way there's some leaf over here and maybe there's one over here and one over here you know my father actually found American America kind of fun you know of all the things that uh, you guys do around here and I'm very very happy he had a lot of fun okay and I'm going to do some of the background here with the green color and indigo color so that you guys uh, see how I bring out that uh, bring out this flower okay finish up this flower for you it's the same thing, okay? I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, using the background as the outline to bring out the petals, okay? And straight away, you can see that I'm coming in to, uh, I'm coming in to close up the, uh, I mean to soften up the, the line right here, okay? And then what I will do is I will do that um, off the camera. I will also put some leaves around here and some color. And then um, you will see that after the in my introduction after the whole background is done and uh, then you guys can uh, you know use my line drawing to follow my background okay but I'm gonna pull this color out you know I will <laughs> you know I will okay so I don't not a, not a very rigid you know and some of them you see it and some of them you don't and then I pull this color out to meet with the color that's from this one and I'm going to add some other color on it too like uh, purple like uh, magenta and gray and you see that you will see that at the final um, introduction of my uh, of this painting okay Actually, I can let you see that now. I'm going to, you know, so what I have is some indigo color, right? And I know with my experience that indigo go very well with magenta. And so I'm going to get magenta and I'm going to just put it here. And that will make, oh, and then one more thing I need to show you, yeah, before I leave. Uh, that will make the painting very, very colorful down here. Even though it's just a soft uh, background, okay? So what I needed to show you is that you know we are using so much magenta and things like that right in the shadow area of the bunny we will put pull in the magenta okay and so it make it very very consistent okay and so since we use some yellow over here and then we will put the yellow like right there okay so the painting will be very very consistent with each other okay and so i really love that and I will use some magenta because magenta is like a darker purple color and put it right there. You can see um, when you do a little touch like that, that makes the, the painting, you can hardly see that, you know, and the bunny, right? But I would, uh, I will keep going <laughs> because it's fun, you know, and put it in the shadow right there. And then you can see that, you know, you say, no, you can't put magenta in the, in the bunny. Well, you tell me. Do you like it? You know, can I? Can I actually put that in there? I think I can. Yeah, it's a, it's actually a very nice trick and it's very, very fun. And uh, it's very, very fun. I'm just softening the edges, you know. And then I will actually do the bunny foot and then I'm going to add a flower, maybe some daisy over here, okay? The same way I'm going to do that. Should I do, should I show you one more daisy? Okay, let's do, show you one more daisy, okay? I'm gonna, um, let's do it right here, okay? Now I have a little line of um, of my pencil line here. I just, uh, so I'm gonna do the, you know, just draw that, okay? I'm gonna draw that and so, but when you, you know, you will get this drawing with the daisy over there too, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that uh, cadmium green, and uh, no, cadmium yellow, but it has some green on it, so it kind of look green. I need to clean that up because just now when I was uh, doing the color, okay so the green is not very clean I'm gonna put some more yellow over here okay and then I'll drop some burnt umber okay very very fast over here should we do another daisy this summer maybe we will okay now 
I, I really shouldn't be doing this, but I'm going to do the background and I'm going to um, like let you see how I let the leaf be white, okay? Just by doing that, okay? And so the leaves are white and I use the background so that I don't paint the white, but I use the background to uh, to show the white, okay? That's a very, um, very, very good way of doing things, you know, if that's what you desire to do. And see, this color is not like as brilliant as that color, right? But, you know, do I let it bother me? Not at all. Okay, so there's another daisy over there, right next to his foot. How fun! Okay, how fun. We can do that, you know, isn't that fun? Okay, you can see the daisy, right? And if you say, um, I want the, there's a little bit more line in the middle, then I can, you know, go in with a little line right there. So you can see this further separate the petal, okay? And then I'm going to uh, paint some line over here and I'm going to actually um, let the flower go up here a little bit, you know, and you see it at the final painting. But I'm, I'm very confident that you can actually do that and maybe have a little bit of flower. Okay, well, thank you. And that's it. I'm going to just like uh, stop here. I might also um, just drop a little bit of color. I will show you with one foot. Okay, one foot. Okay, it's uh, pink's gray, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here and uh, kind of let you see the paw, but not really because I'm going to come and soften it. But then you can actually see it that it's there, right? And it's quite cute. And I don't want it to be just the gray color over there. So I will drop a little bit of burnt umber on it, on this area, right here. Okay, so just, just make the painting come alive. Okay, I'm doing, do, we'll do the same thing with that foot. But I just want to show you with one of the, one of the paw. Okay, and I might do that over here a little bit, but very, very soft and gentle. Okay, thank you, and uh, I hope you really have fun. You should go do this, and uh, you know, do this as a card or whatever you want it to. You know, give it to someone you love. You know, um, a little child's room. You know, and things like that. And so, uh, thank you, and uh, remember to uh, subscribe to me because that's how I know if you guys actually like my stuff. And uh, I will uh, see you in the next painting. Okay, love you guys very much.